Hi and welcome to a video on digital painting in GIMP. In this video we will look at using the part tool in GIMP. When I was working on an art project over at CG Pointing we had a discussion uh, of the polygon select tool in Adobe Photoshop and a counterpart in GIMP. The polygon select tool is quite handy in creating flat color layers. That doesn't seem to be a similar tool in GIMP but after some study I found that you could actually use the part tool in GIMP similar to the polygon select tool in Photoshop. To illustrate this process uh, let us look at a simple artwork. Here I'll be doing a painting of a paint tube. I've already done the line art here and done all the layer setups that I usually do uh, whenever I'm doing a painting. So to use a similar technique as polygon select in GIMP we can use the part tool. Select the part tool uh, and then mark out the area you actually want to do a polygon select on. So here I'm actually selecting the main body of the tube. So it's just you just start at a point and then go on clicking along the area you actually want to make a selection of. So once you want to end it just hold down the control key and click on the first point. Once you have done this use the selection from path button. Once you do this you get a selection of the path that you have uh, created just now. It will also come here on the paths dialog box. Mm, once you have done that uh, you can actually go ahead and put on the flat colors. Okay. So now that I have the flats layer selected, you can actually use this for any other treatment with the selection you may want to give. So now that I have done that, I just deselect everything. Uh, again use a path tool and I'm selecting the cap here. I'm using the control to close the path. After that I do a selection from path. Okay, I select. Uh, now let me do the label. selection from path and there you have it. Now this is quite a similar technique that you would be doing if you were doing it in Adobe Photoshop. The same thing we can as well do it in GIMP. Now as you can notice here in the paths dialog box which you can actually do a add tab and then you, sh you can select path either that or you can go to the file dialogs and then select paths from there. Uh, everything should be visible here. If you are doing a complex painting, it's advisable to actually name all the paths. Okay, now uh, let us assume we we want to work on the uh, the paint tube. One thing uh, is if you have the flats you can actually select it by uh, using your flats. So that's what I'm going to do now here. Uh, basically I want to give a shadow area. So you can see that I am not painting 
on any other areas. I might as well give some highlights uh, now let us look at how we can reselect from a particular let us say I want to paint the cap area what I do is I go to the paths dialog box select the cap and click on this path to selection button here once I do that I have selected the cap area so, yep there you have it You can do the same thing with the label area. So as you can see here I have been using the path tool of GIMP similar to the polygon select of Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and hope you liked it. Do hop in at cgpainting.com for more discussions on digital painting.